right, welcome back, everybody. We continue to follow the coronavirus outbreak. As of this morning, global cases topped 45,000. The death toll is now at more than 1,100 people. The Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs is holding a roundtable this morning to talk about protecting the United States from global pandemics. Our next guest will be part of that conversation. Joining us right now is Dr. Luciana Borio. She's the former director of medical and biodefense preparedness at the National Security Council. And, Doctor, thanks for being here today. Good morning, Becky. My pleasure. What can you tell us about what we know right now in terms of the potential for this to actually become a pandemic? Yeah, so even though there's a lot that we still do not understand about this virus, uh, the features are very concerning. We continue to see an expansion in the number of cases, uh, both in China and globally. And there are several countries that are yet to report cases. Uh, and we believe that they, you know, there's no reason to believe they don't have cases already, given the transportation hubs uh, between them and, and China. So, so what, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, so the, the features are very concerning for, for, a, for pandemic spread. What should the United States be doing right now, and how far are we along that path? So the government response has been very robust. Uh, to date, uh, the CDC is taking uh, significant steps to prevent or delay the introduction of large number of cases in the United States. But more needs to be done to deploy rapid diagnostic tests to the point of care. More mm -hmm. testing should be done, uh, including to, uh, in people that may have symptoms but no obvious linkage to uh, China, uh, assuming that other cases are going to uh, come from perhaps you know, other places other than China. This idea of rapid testing, that's been something that uh, Scott Gottlieb first told us about a little over a week ago. How, how long will it take to actually get something like that in place? Uh, it's very difficult to say, and it's something that um, the CDC is working hard to augment the testing capacity that they can conduct, as well as the state public health labs can conduct. But the key is going to be to have the private sector uh, those that develop tests for the medical community on a day in, day out, to also uh, have their tests validated so that it can be ordered uh, just like any other test in the healthcare system. Watching the number of cases pick up in Singapore, where it happens to be very warm weather, weather in the 80s right now, um, how much do we kind of fall back on this idea that we hope things die out when it gets warmer, when it gets uh, to be some, spring and summertime? That's right. So, you know, we cannot contain an epidemic with wishful thinking. And uh, even though it's true that some viruses wax and wane with uh, temperature fluctuations, there's no reason to believe that this virus is going to uh, abate in the warmer months, given what we're seeing in Singapore. So we have to prepare for uh, more cases in the United States and elsewhere.